Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a shop with me. No surprise there. <laughs> I try to film one of these every couple of weeks, and today we're actually going to go to Walmart because I have seen some sneak peeks of some new body care that they have gotten in, and I have to go check this out for myself because there looks it looks like there's going to be some really good stuff. And you guys know how much I love finding really good, like affordable body care, affordable shower gels, lotions, and all of that. But first, as you can see, we're in the car already. So warm out this weekend. Oh my goodness. It is supposed to hit, I think, 85 tomorrow, which is crazy for Iowa. But it's so sunny, so... I got a bunch of new sunglasses in from Sojos and they are sponsoring today's video and I want to try them on for you guys and you can help me pick which one we're going to wear. Of course, I'm going to already be wearing it, but you can pick which one is your favorite. So let's try these on. First style here. These are definitely what I like to wear. I do like a big, big kind of bug eye sunglasses like this. This is cute. I like the shape of them. I like the color. These might be a potential winner to wear today. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to have all of these linked down below. Um, I'll just name them like number one, number two, etc. in the order I tried them on. But the good thing about Sojo's is they're super affordable. You can get them on Amazon. I personally don't like to spend a lot of money on sunglasses because I throw them everywhere. I throw them in my purse, usually without a case. I throw them in my car. So I'm not about to be spending money on designer sunglasses and these are perfect. I feel like they're pretty good quality and they have lots of really trending styles. So that's number one. Okay, this one's a little out of the box for me. Style number two. What do we think? What do we think? These are kind of cool. I don't hate them. I didn't think I would like them, but these are cute. I like their little tortoise print on them. It's a different shape with this kind of long bar here, but I don't know, those are kind of cute. Here's another all black pair, kind of similar to the first one, but this one has like thinner side pieces here. These are really cute. These are, I don't know, the cat eye kind of always gives me like celebrity vibes for some reason. But I like how these aren't quite as thick as the other ones. I feel like these look good on me. What do you guys think? These are a little out of my comfort zone too. Okay, actually, not not bad. I like how big these are. I don't know if they're my, they're probably my least favorite though. These do have a little bit of like these jewels here. They're very square. I don't know if this looks great on my face shape per se. These are so fun. These have this fun like mirrored on them. These give me like pool party vibes, like party in Vegas or something like that. Probably wouldn't wear these like out and about, but these definitely have the right moment. I feel like these are gonna get smudged really easily though, but I love how mirrored they are. You can probably see literally everything in my background right now from these. These are gonna be the winner today that I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day. These are probably my favorite. Let me know what one was your favorite down below. I'll have the links to all these styles if you wanna check them out and let's go ahead and get to shopping. You guys, look at all this new body care at Walmart. I am absolutely shocked. I was just here last month with some new finds but there's a whole new section. I was most intrigued about this new line from Sunday. These are whipped shower foam. So like a body wash that's a foamy consistency. This looks so much fun. It reminds me kind of like the Jessica Simpson dessert line from back in the day, but obviously not edible. But how good does this sound? Strawberries and cream. That looks amazing. The price though, $15.98 is a little bit much. There's also a very vanilla. You guys know I love my vanilla scents. This is their green tea, which is an exfoliating one. So there is a couple different ones. Another exfoliating is the berry. And then they also have passion fruit pop here. This is their pomegranate one, pomegranate fizz. And also they had the cherry on top, another one that I really want to try, but this price, I cannot pick up too many. And then coconut cream, which also sounds delicious. So I just think these look so cute. I'm definitely gonna pick up a couple to try, but body care is really getting up there in price oh my these are the ones i'm grabbing the strawberry and the vanilla so we're gonna add those to cart so you guys know i've talked about heritage and also the tph line which i love there but there's nothing new in those lines i did see some new bath bombs here from the bomb they have a fun glow in the dark one this guardians of the galaxy a candy and a mystery but let's talk tree hut this looks so good they have like all the scents now at walmart 
Plus they have a brand new one, which is called a Passion Fruit Soul. So I was really curious to get this one and smell it and see if I like it. I will say it doesn't really smell as fruity as I was thinking. I feel like sometimes Tree Hut misses the mark on the scents and this one I think missed the mark for me. It seems a little more floral than it does fruity. I was just wanting some juicy passion fruit and that's not what I got from this. But apparently this is a Walmart exclusive possibly. So I decided to pass on it but they did have all the other new scents like the sun kissed poppy bikini reef blue lagoon i guess those have been out for a little bit now but they had fully stocked tree hut section with the new lotions lots of shower gels as well now this was so exciting to me but you guys know i talk about onyx bathhouse all the time at tj maxx and they have a new line at walmart now previously we did see a couple of their scrubs here before but this is a full new body care line and it's actually very affordable at seven dollars for pretty much everything this is their foaming body wash shake so you shake it up and it's a foaming wash so this seems to be a trend here another foaming one kind of like the sunday line but this is the coconut bliss scent this just looks so fun it also comes in a foaming sugar scrub now you guys know i love their scrubs so i definitely want to pick up some of these because it looks really really good this has shea butter in the formula and it also comes with a little scrubby pad to use with the scrub which i thought was kind of nice this here is their hydrating dry body oil you guys know i'm a sucker for a body oil they also have a lotion the hydrating body lotion and serum duo so something a little bit different with serum and coconut oil and then they also have a hydrating shimmer mist as well so this looks very very shiny looks like not a regular mist in the line though just these shimmer ones the next scent I found was rose petals I'm not really a floral girly so this one's an easy pass for me but it looks like they have the same kind of products in this line this one I was really excited about this is the pomegranate fig I'll definitely have to pick up a couple things in that line and the sandalwood vanilla also looks very promising as as well after i smelled a little bit of everything i'm loving the coconut bliss scent i definitely want to get a couple things in this it reminds me of victoria's secret very sexy now perfume oh, that one is so good it's like fruity yummy coconut deliciousness and i'm also loving the pomegranate fig this is so fruity and sweet i think i'm gonna pass on the sandalwood vanilla for now but i'm really impressed with how these smell as you can see, my basket is getting pretty full already. I was not expecting to like so many things today. Okay, next up we have Body Ecology and they redid their entire line. So they have all new packaging and a couple new scents. Now, if you guys are familiar, this line's always been at Walmart. Everything is about five bucks besides the candle, of course. They're really similar to Bath & Body Works in my opinion. Like they're obviously trying to dupe them. This is the Watermelon Splash, which their shower gel definitely got a full new makeover, which looks really good in my opinion. They have a body cream and fragrance mist and body scrubs as well, which I still need to try these but overall i love the watermelon scent from them it's so sweet and yummy you can smell the candles now instead of having to like smell the products so that's nice now this one looks new to me this is the sun kissed lemons this is a very tart lemon in my opinion a little on the sour side not like a lemon pound cake or anything but like a true lemon if you guys like that citrusy vibe so it just was not my kind of scent but i also smelled the new floating on a cloud and this one's a really pretty berry it doesn't really remind me, I don't know, of anything that I love at Bath & Byers. Like, it's different than the Pastel Skies or, like, the Boardwalk Taffy. It's just you know, a regular degular <laughs> berry kind of scent. But I do really like the packaging a lot. It's so cute. Here's another little overview of their other scents, like the whipped vanilla. It smells like Bath & Body Works warm vanilla sugar. They have the Hawaiian beach scent as well, which is really nice. There's a cherry blossom. They also have like the fresh raspberry. They have a strawberry cheesecake one, which smells like strawberry pound cake from Bath & Body Works that I really like. So yeah, just a little overview of the Body Ecology stuff. I decided to pass on their stuff for the time being. Next up, we have some new launches from Dr. Teal's, which I really like their Epsom salts a lot in foaming bath and their scrubs are really nice. So I was excited to see some new stuff. They have this whole new scent, which is the, is the prebiotic lemon balm. 
I'm not, again, a big lemon girly unless it's like a lemon pound cake scent. So I passed on this one, but I did want to share it with you if you are into the citrusy scents. It does come in a scrub as well, which again are really great quality. They also have a new cannabis sativa hemp seed oil scrub that I haven't seen before. And this eucalyptus and spearmint is a new one as well for more aromatherapy. This is my favorite one, the shea butter and the almond oil. And I noticed that they actually got that in, in a lotion, which they didn't have prior and it's one of my favorite scents from them so I definitely wanted to pick this up and try it out because I've never used their lotions before but the shea butter and almond epsom salt has been kind of my go-to for a while this is new too they have this new ceramides and avocado oil it's a glow and hydrate line which actually seems really nice so I actually kind of want to pick up the epsom salt in this for the bath you actually use like half a bag in the bath which is kind of a lot but seriously it's great for like stress any like aching muscles so I really wanted to try this one out so I did pick up the epsom salt and also they had this magnesium potassium and zinc mineral line as well which was brand new so they had a ton of new stuff so if you guys watched my last hygiene like shop with me I went over all the new Dove stuff which was a lot in the new Olay but they did have a couple new things from Native that I haven't seen before now I'm not always up to date on all their scents I know that macaroon scent they've had before but this key lime and sugar looked brand new to me and it smells so so good I, I have to get this one it's a little bit sour but it still has a really yummy sugary sweetness that reminds me of like a key lime pie so I feel like it smells amazing I definitely want to grab it here's an overview of their other scents but these didn't really look super new or exciting to me they did have the billy body washes which i did go over these in my last video too i've actually almost used up their vanilla body wash which is a more woody vanilla i really enjoyed that maybe these might be new lotions from native too the eucalyptus and mint lavender and rose they had the lilac and white tea and also the sweet peach and nectar in lotions which i didn't know if they had had those prior personally i'm not a big fan of their lotions so these were an easy pass for me i just don't like the consistency of them. I did go check out some more deodorants and I noticed they finally got the Dove Vitamin Care line, which I love these. These have been my go-to. It's one of my favorite aluminum-free deodorants ever. I usually have really bad reactions with aluminum-free, but these are so nice and they actually do keep you fresh all day. And then these look so cute. They're part of the Dove Teens line. They had a vanilla cupcake, which does smell really good and a strawberry sparkle i just don't know if i want my armpits to smell like cupcakes i usually go for more of like a fresh scent so even though it does smell good i decided to pass but yeah that's pretty much everything they had for hygiene that was new i went a little too crazy so stay tuned for what i bought in the next clip all right so i'm going to show you all the stuff i picked up hygiene wise from walmart i have had these things for a couple weeks now so i've been testing them out and there's definitely some hits and there's definitely some misses. So let's go over everything. First off, I was so excited for these Sunday whipped shower foams. But these were definitely very expensive. And I just don't think they're worth the price. I think you can definitely find it better. Are they cute? Yes. I feel like you're paying for the packaging. I definitely did not think the scents were super strong on these. They're honestly pretty light in the shower, and if you're going to be using your hands, it's not going to foam up really well. You definitely want to use like a scrubby brush or a loofah. So all in all, I just didn't think these were that great, and I thought they were honestly kind of drying when I got out of the shower, not super hydrating at all. So I think these are just for looks, and I just don't think... They're really worth the, what is it, almost $16 price tag. You can definitely find better from like even Bath & Body Works when they do sales. I did grab the strawberries and cream that I've been using and then I have the very vanilla, but I honestly, I haven't even used this vanilla one. I'm probably just gonna return this because I just don't think it's worth it. Now the new Onyx Bath House stuff, I definitely feel like is pretty decent. I like that this is a lower price. I think everything was around six or $7. Bought the Coconut Bliss Foaming and Hydrating Body Wash. You kind of shake it up. Um, I like to use a scrubby brush with this one and it foams up pretty well. I really liked the smell of their stuff. This coconut one smells so fruity, yummy. I really like this. I definitely felt like it smelled stronger in the shower than the Sunday product, so I was pretty pleased with this one. I wouldn't say it's super hydrating though after the shower. I think it's just pretty generic, but it is affordable. I did try their Hydrating Body Lotion and Serum as well. This kind of caught me by surprise because 
this is more of a gel consistency and to be honest it kind of comes out like this so it has kind of the double layers you see the lotion you see the gel but the gel just kind of takes over and it leaves this like sticky tacky base that I do not like at all. This is probably one of the worst items I picked up. These are weird. I don't know. It just kind of feels like aloe vera. <laughs> like once it kind of dries into the skin, it just leaves your skin dry and not like hydrated. So definitely did not love these hydrating body lotions. I did really like the scrubs though, which is to be expected. I love the Onyx bathhouse scrubs that are at TJ Maxx. These seemed a little bit different though. These actually seemed a little softer in texture than the ones you can get at TJ Maxx, which I'm not at. I felt like they blended really nice into the skin. I love that you get a little scrubby brush included. These do smell so good. I did get the pomegranate fig in this one which has shea butter and apricot kernel oil. So I think the scrub is definitely a winner from the Onyx Bathhouse brand. I almost forgot that I also bought the Onyx Bathhouse Hydrating Dry Body Oil and Essence Duo. Now I was expecting this to be more like an oil. It is a spray but it doesn't have an oily feel whatsoever. It just rubs into the skin. I don't know. It just feels like a plain water spray. I don't know what the deal is. And the scent on these is super light. I am not really impressed with this product either. This line just seems very hit or miss. But I was expecting more of a really nice body oil. This does say it's a dry body oil. So I don't know what they were going for with that. But it just kind of felt like I was spraying a normal fragrance mist on my skin. It might be just a little bit more wet feeling than a fragrance mist. But overall, it just does not have enough scent throw in my opinion. I think this is the last body wash I got. This one is from Native. I could not resist this this key lime and sugar I've been loving this so far now I do love the native body washes I feel like they're pretty strong in the shower they're nice and gentle on the skin this one smells so good it literally smells like a key lime pie to me it's so delicious probably my favorite body care item of this entire haul I also got a couple things from Dr. Teal's I did pick up the body lotion in the shea butter and almond oil I was really excited for this but um, after trying it, I mean, I love the formula, but I don't know if I love the smell of this. I feel like I like it so much better in the actual Epsom salts. To me, this gives off a weird kind of doughy smell and slightly cinnamon. Like, it's almost like a cinnamon roll, but not as sweet. And it's just not what I was really wanting. So I get mostly, like, a cinnamon spicy dough. It's not super edible smelling though. I guess I could layer it with some things, but if I'm wanting a cinnamon roll lotion, I'm gonna go for the Fenty Butter Drop. Oh my gosh, they're, uh, I forgot what it's called. They have a cinnamon butter drop that is so delicious. I would definitely pick that over this, even though this is a lot more affordable. And I think, again, the formula is fine, but I'm not really a huge fan of this scent. I did also pick this up, which I haven't tried yet. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Epsom salts. This is the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, the ceramides and avocado oil. I just love throwing these in the bath. It's supposed to be good for muscle soothingness and aches. So I thought I would go ahead and try this one to like add some extra moisture to the skin. So I know I'll definitely like this. No matter what the scent is, you can't go wrong with the Epsom salts. So out of this entire haul, I feel like there's so many hit and miss things. My must-haves from this little shopping trip are definitely these Onyx Bathhouse products, the foaming body wash, and also the sugar scrub from them. Really enjoyed these. And then, of course, the native key lime and sugar body wash. But I wanted to try everything for you guys. I'm just, I'm picky with my body care. Like, I want to make sure I'm recommending you guys, like, the best stuff, the things I think are truly worth it, not too overpriced, and have to smell amazing, of course. So that is my little hygiene shop with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Sojo's sunglasses. Links are in the description box and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.